Rheumatoid arthritis, or RA, is a systematic chronic inflammatory disease that affects the joints. If not managed effectively, it can get progressively worse. We start with Shirley, whose life was impacted by this disease. Starting my day with RA is usually difficult. I felt stiff and I struggled to get going, and that affected the rest of my day, and it just took longer to do everything. RA affects my hips, knees, shoulder, elbow, feet, and my hands. I love to sew, but my hands were stiff and painful, and it made it very difficult. The Balancing Act is on location at the Rheumatology Associates of Oklahoma to learn more from rheumatologist Dr. Letitia Heinlein. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease, which means your immune system is attacking your own body. And in this disease, it's actually attacking your joints. It's a systemic disorder with inflammation throughout the body and various tissues can be affected. Some of the joints affected include the hands, the shoulders, the feet, hips, knees, and wrists. Patients experience pain, aches, tenderness, swelling, and morning stiffness. These symptoms often occur on both sides of the body, so it could affect both knees or both hands, for example. More than 80% of rheumatoid arthritis patients may already have joint damage within two years of disease onset. In fact, progressive joint damage may lead to other health problems if left untreated. Our goal as rheumatologists is remission or low disease activity. If your current therapy is not effective or if your RA is progressing, you may need to add another treatment option or switch to a different medication. There are several treatment options available. Those aim to relieve symptoms like pain relievers or steroids and DMARDs, which are disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs which target the underlying cause of this disease. I've been on multiple therapies through the years. I had some relief at first and then it wouldn't work as well. I have a great relationship with my doctors, so there's a lot of communication if I'm flaring, swelling and pain. I've always believed in trying new and different therapies and take an active role in my health. While there is no cure for RA, it is possible to slow or stop the progression. Patients have seen improvements in their symptoms by targeting pro-inflammatory cytokine pathways, such as TNF, JAK, and IL-6, which play a critical role in RA disease progression. A majority of patients with active RA have elevated IL-6 levels, which plays a central role in inflammatory pathways that may lead to chronic inflammation, disease progression, joint destruction, and systemic manifestations, including pain and morning stiffness. Kevzara is a prescription biologic that helps correct elevated IL-6 levels in adult patients with moderately to severely active RA. Kevzara cerilumab can lower the ability of your immune system to fight infections. Serious and sometimes fatal infections, including tuberculosis, have happened, as have changes in lab results, tears in the stomach or intestines, and certain cancers. Tell your doctor if you've been somewhere, fungal infections are common, or if you've had TB, hepatitis, or are prone to infections. Don't start Kevzara if you have an infection. Studies have shown that patients who used Kevzara saw an improvement in their symptoms, such as pain, swollen joints, and stiffness. It also improved the ability to perform everyday activities. Kevzara takes an approach that is different than many other approved therapies and may work when others have not. I heard about Kevzara, I contacted my physician, and we talked about it. And two days later, I got the prescription. With Kivzara, I felt that I could do a lot of the things that I didn't think I'd ever be able to do again. I feel less pain and stiffness in the mornings, and I can go days without feeling tired. It's important to know there are many ways to manage the disease and get back to the life you've lived. Patients should not settle with feeling good enough. My advice to anyone with RA is you cannot give up on yourself. If you do nothing, this disease can be very aggressive. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure this disease does not define me. It's so great to see Shirley doing well. For full prescribing information, visit kevzara.com and stay tuned for important safety information. As always, you can visit our website, thebalancingact.com. We'll be right back.
Important safety information. Kevzara can cause serious side effects, including serious infections. Kevzara is a medicine that affects your immune system. Kevzara can lower the ability of your immune system to fight infections. Some people have had serious infections while using Kevzara, including tuberculosis, TB, and infections caused by bacteria, fungi, or viruses that can spread throughout the body. Some people have died from these infections. Your healthcare provider should test you for TB before starting Kevzara. Your healthcare provider should monitor you closely for signs and symptoms of TB during treatment with Kevzara. Before starting Kevzara, tell your healthcare provider if you think you have an infection or have symptoms of an infection with or without a fever. Symptoms may include sweats or chills, muscle aches, a cough, shortness of breath, blood in your phlegm, weight loss, warm, red, or painful skin or sores on your body, diarrhea or stomach pain, burning when you urinate or urinating more often than normal. If you feel very tired or if you've been treated for an infection, get a lot of infections or have repeated infections. Have diabetes, HIV, or a weakened immune system. Have TB or have been in close contact with someone with TB. Live or have lived or have traveled to certain parts of the country, such as the Ohio and Mississippi River Valleys and the Southwest, where there is an increased chance of getting certain fungal infections. Histoplasmosis, cosidiodomycosis, or blastomycosis. Have or have had hepatitis. After starting Kemzara, call your healthcare provider right away if you have any symptom of an infection. Changes in certain laboratory test results. Your healthcare provider should do blood tests before and after starting Kevzara to check for low neutrophil, white blood cells that help the body fight off bacterial infections, counts. Low platelet, blood cells that help with blood clotting and stop bleeding, counts. And an increase in certain liver function tests. Changes in test results are common with Kevzara and can be severe. You may also have changes in other laboratory tests, such as your blood cholesterol levels. Your healthcare provider should do blood tests four to eight weeks after starting Kevzara, and then every six months during treatment to check for an increase in blood cholesterol levels. Tears, perforation of the stomach or intestines. Tell your healthcare provider if you've had a condition known as diverticulitis, inflammation in parts of the large intestine, or ulcers in your stomach or intestines. Some people using Kevzara had tears in their stomach or intestine. This happens most often in people who also take non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, corticosteroids, or methotrexate. Call your healthcare provider right away if you have a fever and stomach abdominal pain that does not go away. Cancer. Kevzara may increase your risk of certain cancers by changing the way your immune system works. Tell your healthcare provider if you have ever had any type of cancer. Serious allergic reactions. Serious allergic reactions can happen with Kevzara. Get medical attention right away if you have any of the following signs. Shortness of breath or trouble breathing, feeling dizzy or faint, swelling of your lips, tongue, or face, moderate or severe stomach, abdominal pain, or vomiting, or chest pain. Do not use Kevzara if you're allergic to Cerilumab or any of the ingredients of Kevzara. Before using Kevzara, tell your healthcare provider if you have an infection, have liver problems, have had stomach, abdominal pain, or a condition known as diverticulitis, inflammation in parts of the large intestine, or ulcers in your stomach or intestines. Recently received or are scheduled to receive a vaccine, people who take Kevzara should not receive live vaccines, plan to have surgery or a medical procedure, are pregnant or plan to become pregnant. It is not known if Kevzara will harm your unborn baby, are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed. Talk to your healthcare provider about the best way to feed your baby if you use Kevzara. It is not known if Kevzara passes into your breast milk. Take any prescription or non-prescription medicines, vitamins, or herbal supplements. It is especially important to tell your healthcare provider if you use any other medicines to treat your RA. Using Kevzara with these medicines may increase your risk of infection. Medicines that affect the way certain liver enzymes work. Ask your healthcare provider if you are not sure if your medicine is one of these. The most common side effects include injection site redness, upper respiratory tract infection, urinary tract infection, nasal congestion, sore throat, and runny nose. These are not all the possible side effects of Kevzara. Tell your doctor about any side effect that bothers you or does not go away. You're encouraged to report side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA at www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. To learn more, talk about Kevzara with your healthcare provider or pharmacist. The FDA-approved medication guide and prescribing information can be found at kevzara.com or by calling 1-844-KEVZARA. That's one 838 9272.